All right, now that you have managed to book your traveler's flight, what's next? In this video, I'm gonna go through post-booking part, which is, for example, booking cancellations and issuance with airline consolidator. So first, you need to understand the differences between booking and the issuance. When the flight booking is done, it doesn't mean that your travelers, your passenger, has a right to take the seats in the aircraft. Once the flight booking is done, in the behind the system, the PNR passenger name record is created. So once the PNR is created, you need to pass this PNR to your airline consolidator for them to proceed the issuance, which is ticketing. As I mentioned in the first episode, I mentioned that this issuance of the ticket can be only done by an accredited agent due to the regulation in the industry. So this is where, as a you self-service API user, need to work with your own airline consolidator to handle your ticket issuance. You will need to find an airline consolidator in your country and make an agreement with them that they will be your ticketing agent. So once the agreement is made that your ticketing agent, airline consolidator, will be able to give you the ticketing office ID, which is the unique ID for Amadeus to identify the airline consolidators. So once you give us the office ID, the ticketing office ID from your consolidator, together with the queue and category numbers, you share with us once you request the production access of the flight crate orders, we'll be able to give you the production access. If you are already a production user of the self-service API, and if you are looking for an airline consolidator in your region and in your country, contact us in the support form so that we can recommend you any airline consolidator that you can work with. The production access that we're gonna prepare and share with you is basically we're gonna make the link and connection between your access of the API and the ticketing office ID. So that whenever you create a booking from the flight create order APIs, this booking will be automatically go through the ticketing office ID for your airline consolidator to issue the tickets. And whenever you're handling the issuance with airline consolidator, there are a few things that you need to discuss with airline consolidator to define how you're gonna work. For example, in terms of the payment, there are two payments that you need to consider, which is you need to collect the payment from your traveler to your applications. And also you need to make an agreement and discuss with your airline consolidator how you're gonna make the payments each other. And also, one other thing that you need to consider is the ticketing processing time. So it doesn't mean that whenever you booked the flight, this is going to be directly and immediately issued the ticket. So this time, the ticketing processing time between once the booking is created and also till the issuance, this is something that you also need to discuss with the airline consolidator how you're going to manage. So in our API flight create order, we have this uh, ticketing processing uh, parameter that you need to use. But before you use this parameter, uh, we advise you to discuss with your consolidator that how to optimize the flow. So that's how you manage the issuance and ticketing with your airline consolidator. But after the flight booking from the flight create orders, yes, there are also things that you can do as a post booking management, which are you can also cancel the booking and also you can view the bookings. But just to remind you, this cancel booking can be only done before the issuance. You cannot cancel the booking after the issuance. So if you need to cancel the ticket after the issuance, airline consolidator needs to perform that on behalf of you. To perform the cancellations of the booking and view the bookings, you can perform this via API call Flight Order Management. Let me show you in Postman. So in this Postman, if you remember, yes, we have created orders, which is this one. So we have an order ID has been returned. You need to take into this consideration in order to cancel it or view, which is retrieve. So in the catalog, we have a flight order management under booking. So we have two methods, which is get and delete. So basically the get is to retrieve 
and no delete is cancel. So here you need, as I mentioned, you need to take into consideration the order ID, which we already hard coded in the Postman collections. So what you need to do is just send it to request. And here now you are seeing the same order and the same information that you have get when you create the orders. And also to delete it, to cancel it, you need to use the delete method and the order is already hard coded. So the delete. So this has been performed and we got the success status. So this flight or uh, this order has been deleted. Let's verify whether this is really deleted or not. So I'm going to just try to retrieve with the same ID. Let's see whether it is showing the result or not. See, now the flight order ID is not found, so meaning this flight order ID has been correctly cancelled. In the next video, as the last episode of this series, I'm going to show you some prototypes and demo app that we have available as open source in our GitHub for you to have a look and have an idea of how the flight booking engine looks like with Amadev Self Service API. That's it. So now we have covered the post booking and the issues with the airline consolidator. This whole video series was about basic flight booking engine to be built with Amadev Self Service API. You will may notice that there are advanced functionality that you can build on top. For example, seatmap display, chargeable bags, or fare rules, and branded fare offers. So this, all this functionality is also available as an advanced feature that you can add on, which I will cover in the next series. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video about advanced flight booking engine.